Hello there, folks. Over on Talk TV, James Whale Unleashed has established itself as the home of bigotry and ignorance. The weekly three hour Saturday evening program is seemingly, by design, car crash television. Whale and his co presenter Ash jump on board whatever current right wing talking point is fashionable and berate anybody who happens to disagree with them. As a result, the producers often book guests they know will antagonise the hosts just to garner social media views. The most recent blazing row to go viral was when James Whale very nearly put his hands on Steve Headley of the RMT when he refused to leave the studio after admirably sticking up for the people of Gaza when faced with some of the most revolting Israeli war crime apologism one has seen on British television. Ash, the co-host, is an especially nasty character who supports every aspect of Israeli brutality against Gazan civilians. Femi Nylander was originally booked to talk about the Archbishop of Canterbury's desire to set up a £100 million fund to address the past wrongs of the Church of England's link to the slave trade, which could, according to an independent review, be up to one billion pounds. Unfortunately for Femi, his video link began a few minutes prior to his appearance and he caught the back end of James Whale and Ash pushing the most repulsive drivel during a blazing row with a previous guest. Femi was not impressed in the slightest and proceeded to tear the rotten duo to shreds. And this battering is even in the midst of the producer muting Femi at every opportunity. Let's take a look. Uh, Femi, good evening to you. Um, good evening. I, mean, I, I did have, I, mean, I know it's a different subject, but I did have the displeasure of having to, you have to log on to these calls early, and it is, it is very tedious to hear you peddle lies about Palestine. But let's get the, mm. the, the topic of today. Sorry, what did, you, what, what, what did you just say? I think he agrees I with what we were saying. I don't you agree you, you actually before, think. But let's, let's get on to the topic. No, no, no. Oh. You brought it up, mate, and you're going to suffer okay. for it. You brought it up. So, what yeah. you're saying is. Are you wearing a mask? No, it's a beard like mine. Um, what you're saying is that you think Britain is behaving in an appalling way because you think in some way we are supporting what's going on in Gaza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I mean, so what do you weapons. think we should do? Uh, I think, I think again, this ties into what we discussed, well, I mean, what the idea is to discuss slavery. And I think we probably peddle lies about the slave trade in the same way as you're peddling lies about Gaza. I think we should stop selling weapons to somewhere that has killed 13,000 kids. I mean, 500 soldiers versus 13,000 kids. So what we should, what we children. should do... Yeah, it's well, well, hang on, just... But let's, let's move on to... No, to I'll move on when I'm... We're all just... Okay, okay well, yeah. Right, be cool. quiet for a minute. So, I... I you, you talk rubbish. You talk absolute rubbish like everybody else. So you think we should stop selling weapons. Is that what you're saying? Who keeps Fading the guests down. Stop it. No, we should. I mean, we okay. should stop. Waiting, and we should also. We should also start talking about our um, historical role in creating the state of Israel, just like our historical role in the slave trade. I've spoken about that liberation. many times, and maybe it should uh, have been done I mean, better. Should we go point. back to Roman like, times as well and talk about that? Well, well, we could go back to Roman times and the Vikings. The it's, of not, course. it's not. It's not. History yeah. at you the moment. Three it's three happening people now. in my and ears at the moment. Can you? The you Ming know. Dynasty. Look, let's talk about this because you're wrong about the Palestinian situation. I feel very sorry for Palestinian people. But they, you, but know, you don't. They, uh, well, Hamas is the ones causing the Hang on, shut up a minute. How many times do I have to say, I feel very sorry, I don't want to see innocent people killed, yet people like you say, oh, yeah, but that's Nor do right. Israel. You know, but nobody you wants to see like, innocent Israelis people. haven't, like, no, barely any Israelis have died in contact. 40,000. That's a good thing, isn't it? Thousand. Okay. Barely, no, Let me no, ask no, you I mean, the, the question. Is, Here's the question. What about the 1400? Just shut up a minute. Here's the question. Are Hamas, in your view, a terrorist organisation? About 7th of October in the midst of a genocide. It's, so, rape resistance. You, you think it's a back. rape is resistance? The, the, rape, the rape is nonsense. Like, oh, right. You're, you're a denier rape, as well. Like, Do you deny the Holocaust? I'm not, you're a denier. Well. Do I deny the Holocaust? No, the Holocaust was exist. terrible. The Holocaust was a terrible, uh, Holocaust was a terrible well, don't, crime. Don't, One of many terrible crimes. So and you should, are um, happy to hark the Holocaust. The UN came out the other day and confirmed the rapes. You wouldn't say... The UN came out and confirmed the rapes. And some of them were for Hamas. What do you... Hang on, I want to know what he wants to... What, what do you mean? What about the Holocaust you want to say? Tell me. No, 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 what I'm saying is, if, if you, just, you just brought up the Holocaust, because you think the Holocaust is a terrible did, historical crime, and that Israel has, and that Israel has a, I didn't bring it up, you guys brought it up, but that Israel has a right to defend itself because of the fact that they were victims in the past. No, However, it just has when a right to defend itself. Like, let, me just, let, me just, let me just quickly, quickly, let me land. 
Um, if, if I speak to you about slavery, it's forget about it. Why are we going back to the Romans? This is ancient history. But you're happy to bring up history in this context. The Holocaust is a oh. historical event. Oh, hold on. The, the UN Will came out and said now? that the rapes did happen. Are you saying the UN are wrong about Otherwise, about I'm going to have to take Are you up. saying the UN are wrong about Did you about hear that? what Chuck about, said? Well, this is important. No, point. it's not important. We'll go it back to it. We've already point. covered it before, and he's going to say exactly the same thing that people like oh. him smugly say all the time. Oh, you're wrong. Yeah. So let's talk about slavery. So the Church of England, right? Keep your eyes on what we're doing. So you, you about the Church of England uh, are very excited they're going to pay a billion pounds. They don't have a billion pounds, apparently, to pay. They think they're going to they get it from the tax They have nine billion management. pounds and a one billion pound endowment, so they have plenty of money, yes. Oh, good. So they're going to pay that to, uh, to um, the Caribbean mainly, is that right? Um, I mean, they're going or is to it just give black it to people? black-owned businesses. Yeah. Um, That's racist for answer. a start. Well, it's not, is it? It is What's racist. racist is the slave trade where you drag people across the Atlantic and enslave them and rape their women. You talk about rape. The slave trade has you know, so much rape are, and it's not well what documented. Is wrong with people this is, like this you. is racist. It's well, not racist to, 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 to try and retribute for historical sins. Let me ask you a question. When Israel got reparations for the Holocaust, was that racist? When if you was believe in reparations, did you be, do you believe in because Israel got holo reparations? Yeah, Israel but you received reparations, reparations from Germany. Building stone, no, 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 but, uh, but this slave, is what I'm like saying. Is, are you, I'm, I'm talking about um, when Israel got reparations for the Holocaust. It's fine. The people that it actually happened to. Can I let him speak? Well, it was the descendants of the people that it happened to. It's obviously the victims of the Holocaust. Yeah, that most of them died in the Holocaust. So if they died in the Holocaust, property got returned. If they are very fed up with both, we're talking about the children. We're talking about the descendants. So you're, now, you're, what you are is you're a hypocrite. And are you? You, you apply one you, standard to the Holocaust, oh, and you apply another standard to slavery. Are because you, you're a hypocrite. Are because you, you don't so believe the things you say. Understand it, because you, you, you just I've had enough now. So nonsense. either you shut up or you... Uh, I think that's what we call checkmate. Let's just pause for breath for a moment. Goodness me. It is rather glorious to see such rank hypocrisy called out to their faces. Ash completely bending himself into a pretzel trying to justify Holocaust reparations whilst denying slavery reparations really is a sight to behold. This is what white supremacy looks like. I haven't met a single person of colour who denies the Holocaust or disagrees with the reparations agreement between Israel and Germany, but I know of so many white people who deny British involvement in the slave trade or wish to water it down in some way. James Whale is an atheist. He openly discusses his atheism all the time. So why does he care the Church of England wants to right some historical wrongs? Well, he cares because the reparations would be going to black people. Hence why he called it racist. The same old arguments of, oh, well, everybody had slaves, is wheeled out time and time again. But it's really not hard to understand everything should be treated on a case-by-case -case basis. Just because my neighbour doesn't pay his debts, it doesn't mean I should feel content with not paying mine. This is not taxpayers' money. Thus, it should not affect an old Tory like James. Therefore, there can be no other explanation than overt racism. Three quarters of the money raised by the Church of England comes via donations from worshippers. And if they wish to stop donating in the wake of Justin Welby setting up this slavery reparations fund... That is their right, but it has absolutely nothing to do with these two pillocks. Whale, as said previously, is an atheist, and Ash is Jewish, though I don't know whether he is a practicing Jew. But that doesn't matter anyway. This is a church to which neither have an affiliation deciding how to spend their money. <sighs> Let's carry on. Go, all right? So do you believe you, because you have a black skin... Right? You believe that you are entitled to something because maybe some of your uh, ancestors were or could have been slaves. There were many white people in this country who were taken into slavery, uh, some by African countries, believe it or not, but by Scandinavian countries, by by European mm. countries. A lot of Brits well, at one African, time was it? North African. got taken away from here as slaves. People like you annoy me so much. And the Archbishop... People like you disgust and, me. Well, like you the annoy, annoy you isn't the word. Me. You, you disgust, disgust me. me. You're a propagandist yep. for genocide. You're a propagandist for slavery. You're a white supremacist and you chat but nonsense. But you deny. You talk you chat bullshit. Absolute just, nonsense. just a minute. And so, you're a hypocrite. That's the main so thing. So I'm a white you supremacist. You apply one standard to the Holocaust 
and you apply another standard, the mass enslavement of Africans, because you don't believe the things you say and you don't have principles. You can't situation. apply the same standard. No, they're not. One situation is a genocide. The other situation is a mass enslavement. The slavery, slavery went over for 400 years, involved throwing people into the, o- into the ocean to drown, involved working people to death, involved raping their women, and you're saying, yeah. oh, what's the parallel between okay, the Holocaust about, and the slavery? What about the, the, the Africans who did the same to, yeah. to yeah. Europeans? And what about you're the Africans a liar. who did the same to Europeans? Britain, 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 Britain was the first country to fight against slavery. He's calling you a liar. Time, but I've got no respect for people who don't have consistent standards, that, that apply one standard to something and another standard to something else. How much do you want to receive? How much should you get? How much do you want? How much should I get? I, I shouldn't get anything because I'm, 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 I've, I've come from a rel- relatively decent background and I'm not... So so I'm, I'm who not who is this myself. money I'm going to be percent. given to? I understand that structures exist. I, understand the no, I don't really want to talk to you because you took call me a white supremacist. I don't want to talk to you. Well, yeah, I mean, because you are, you, you are, you're you're a hypocrite, you're a liar, and you're a propagandist, and I've seen you pop up and, and yeah, berate you. You just lie blatantly on air, haven't we? Blazing. Denying well, you that women were raped, and you know, and you have, just everyone well, knows no, 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 that no, happened. That the, the You've blatantly lied, and we all uh, know you. You deny that 13, I mean, how many, how you many know, I'm bored. Yes, this is the standard of debate from James Whale and Ash Gould on Talk TV. I'm bored now. Yeah, we're bored. Oh, like you're getting thrashed. You cannot form a coherent argument. You can't even form a coherent sentence. And you're running away under the pretense that you're bored. It's actually horrifying to see what James Whale has become, what he's being reduced to here. He always was angry and reactionary, but He was never an angry, reactionary, total moron. There is no other way to describe him now than an angry, reactionary, complete and total moron. Ash never had two brain cells to rub together to begin with, so we won't concern ourselves with him. But James Whale has been made an MBE. Um, I don't know whether it's his services to broadcasting or because he started a kidney cancer charity. Remember... James Whale is terminally ill, and this is how he's spending his final few months or years on Earth. So any good he is doing through his kidney cancer charity matters not one jot because of the lies, the misinformation, the racism, and the white supremacy he peddles, not only on his talk TV show, but also on Twitter. Let's just finish this up. Have or a nice say, night, man. Oh, comes from right. the Another minute. We'll give you you a are minute. a liar and a propagandist. And you just, just give him a minute. Aren't you? I've had You're enough. Pathetic, James Whale. I'm not You're taking pathetic. part in it anymore. You're pathetic. I'm You're just pathetic, listening to this idiot. Don't even get his this man story. who's just trotting out complete and utter rubbish. That I, I, no, I don't want to. I want him gone now. He's well, just well, talking rubbish. Thing. You know, and if the well, Church of England, which isn't a proper church, and I say that genocide is a Could you say to him, whatever? Good. You. Uh, off you go. Go on. I mean, I've never heard so much rubbish. I'd like to do in the words of... Um, he couldn't have a debate. No, he, you know, I'm not going to be called uh, a white supremacist. Just rubbish. You know, and then I'm, just demanded we believe it. Go back to the cause to talk to decent people, ordinary people who yeah. understand more. Uh, Michelle in Windsor. Hello, Michelle. You're on. What a pair of children. What a pathetic pair of children. All right, thank you for watching, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you again soon.